devastating deadly school bus crash in Tennessee has renewed the debate about seat belts in school buses. They're not required in most states, including here in Massachusetts, but one state lawmaker wants to change that. Here's WBZ's David Robichaud. While a school bus idles outside the state house, students who rode here in it roam the halls, learning about how laws are made. Their bus has seat belts, but most don't. The first thing we do when we get into a car is ask our kids to buckle up. State Representative Antonio Cabral has tried several times to pass a bill requiring seat belts on school buses. When you see a tragedy like yesterday, I know your heart breaks, but is it frustrating also for you? It's very frustrating. I think we've been pushing this legislation for a good three or four sessions now. I think it's a common sense legislation. It's a public safety legislation. Newton is one of the handful of communities in Massachusetts that bucks the national trends. They do have seat belts on school buses. Why do you think they don't have them? It's, it's hard to say. It's almost as though they don't believe uh, uh, it's, it's a valuable safety feature. The School Transportation Association has opposed belts on buses in the past, citing expense and time needed to install equipment. Representative Cabral says the organization has walked away from the negotiation table. We attempted to reach them, uh, the industry, uh, before the full formal sessions were over. Uh, I'm still waiting for them to call back. They did not return our calls either. Meanwhile, some can't believe safety hasn't been improved. Are you surprised a lot of communities don't have them? It's shocking. It's really shocking. And this, this what happened in Tennessee, hopefully maybe the only one silver lining will be that that, that changes nationally. In Newton, David Robichaud, WBZ News. Now, whether seatbelts on buses truly makes things safer is still debated. The school bus industry says buses are designed with high seatbacks and a reinforced shell to protect kids like eggs in an egg carton. But the National Highway Traffic Safety Administrator says every bus should have a three-point seatbelt. Only California requires them on its buses. It would be an expensive fix, as much as $10,000 for every bus.